This is a work of political and social commentary. The content of this video is not meant for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Most of you who have watched my videos on the primary elections have probably noticed that I don't support Joe Biden. I'd rather drink a 32-ounce toothpaste, orange juice, and espresso smoothie than vote for Joe Biden, to be honest. In my opinion, Biden is bordering on senile and makes nonsensical promises, like appointing the first African-American female senator. Quick hint for those who don't know yet, look up Carol Mosley Braun and Kamala Harris and then read up on how the senators are selected in the United States. It's not his senility or his empty promises that worry me right now, though. It's because of this that I want him to maintain his social distancing from any government post, and any woman. I'll try to keep my bias against sleepy, creepy Uncle Joe out of this episode of Roasted Opinions, but no promises. So, let's cover the facts of the matter. Tara Reid, a former staffer for Joe Biden, has alleged that in 1993, Biden sexually assaulted her. I won't go into the details, but suffice it to say that Reid is accusing Biden of committing a felony. Reid acknowledges that the statute of limitations has expired for pressing charges. Nevertheless, she has filed a criminal complaint against him. It's not that she thinks he will be prosecuted, she says. It is because she believes that speaking out will protect other women from men who use their power to take advantage of women. Again, these are her words. Her recounting of the incident highlights a couple of things. First, there were no witnesses, so this is Reed's word against Biden's. Second, no physical evidence is available after 27 years to corroborate her statement. Third, and this is most significant, she stated that she knows there will be no prosecution despite her criminal complaint. This just happened to come out right about the time that Bernie Sanders dropped out of the race, making Biden the presumptive nominee. Naturally, social media has absolutely exploded, especially the Me Too movement. You see, the Me Too people hold as a basic tenet that all women who make such an allegation should be believed. Based on Biden's past behavior, which prompted the creation of the Creepy Uncle Joe nickname for him, her story is plausible if unproven and unprovable. By those measures, we are supposed to listen to and believe Reed, with all the attending consequences for Joe Biden. There's a problem, though. Joe is the presumptive nominee for the Democratic Party due to the previously mentioned end of the Sanders campaign, which brings Trump into the issue. How? Because now voters have to choose between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, and this allegation means that in order to unify the Democratic voters against Trump, the DNC will have to censor and disbelieve Tara Reid's allegation, exactly the opposite of what the hashtag MeToo movement demands that everyone do. Remember 2016 when all sorts of women started to claim that prominent Republicans had assaulted them? Those allegations were unproven and unprovable too. In fact, those allegations were the reason that the hashtag MeToo movement started and why we are all supposed to listen and believe whenever a woman makes an accusation of this kind. I wondered at the time whether this would backfire onto prominent Democrats eventually. Joe Biden, everybody. If this allegation were completely unbelievable, then I'm certain that the situation would resolve itself. Reed would hover at the edge of public consciousness, dismissed as a wackadoodle who is willing to ruin lives in order to accomplish her own personal agenda. It's not as if we would believe that Joe Biden assaulted her if we had no other indications that he was a creepy guy, or for that matter, someone who would engage in other questionable activities and use the power of his political connections to cover it up. Again, Joe Biden, everybody. Reed did reach out to Time's Up, an organization which specializes in helping victims of sexual assault pursue civil and criminal cases against their attackers. This organization can help with just about anyone but a politician who is actively running for office, because doing so would be a clear violation of the prohibition against nonprofits engaging in political activities. Ahem. Joe Biden, everybody. The media published a wave of reports about Reed filing a criminal complaint on Friday. Now, just the fact that the reports were published late on Friday reflects some of this dilemma. Reporting potentially major news late on Friday is a way to partially bury a story because of the weekend news cycle. Just because the media outlets publish the news doesn't mean that they want to keep covering it. 
There's plenty of other significant news out there, and it'll be fairly easy to bury the story further by simply not following up on it. The New York Times did follow up on it by publishing a hit piece on the allegation, which includes the statement that filing a false police report is a crime. I personally don't know whether Biden assaulted Reed. It's plausible given his past public behavior and the fact that several women have come forward to accuse Biden of inappropriate conduct of a sexual nature. This also highlights the danger of the hashtag MeToo listen and believe narrative. Allegations of this kind have to be investigated, and they have to be provable. There must be evidence beyond her word against his. When evidence exists, predators like Harvey Weinstein are successfully prosecuted. When there isn't evidence, though, the accused aren't exonerated in our society. They are permanently smeared by the very allegation, even if their accuser later recants. That's not the way criminal law is supposed to work. Now, the truth is that I listened, but I don't know whom to believe. That's why we have evidence-based investigation as the core of our criminal justice system, and why I call Reed's accusation unproven. I'm not certain how she could prove her case, either. We'll just have to watch carefully and see how this all plays out.